All right, guys, so I got a flat stone here. It's marble. And it's got dirt. And it, it is a little bit low, but it's not real low. I mean, it's really close. Except for up here, I'm just going to take my trowel, dig a ditch around it, take a little bit of this off, dig a ditch all the way around it, and then clean this thing off, make it nice. But this is Lewis G. Hooper, S2, U.S. Navy, January 26, 1919. To July 18th, 1974. So let's go ahead and get started with this gentleman. So again, I'm going to wet the stone down. Get some of the dirt out of the letters here. But we'll let this stay wet for a good five, six minutes here. There's really not a lot on this stone. It's gonna come out looking really nice. So I don't know if I got it on camera or not, but there was a root that was right here. I keep a pair of shears with me and uh, I just cut it off. No big deal. So I've already got a solution of uh, Orvis paste and water mixed together for the scrub. So let's just get down to it. This is gonna turn out to be a real pretty stone. See how the water with the ditch around it pools around it that's what we're wanting we're gonna let this uh settle just here for a little bit let the water go down i'll give it another little tiny rinsing and then we'll uh hit it with d2 and with this i'm just taking this big brush and i'm getting a lot of the water out of the lettering. My thought behind that is if, when you wash this off, right, water is down in this lettering here on these flat stones, and if you spray D2 on it, then it kind of dilutes it more than it would like if it was up here on, on the solid surface. Down in here, there's a bunch of water and it would dilute it, so that's my thought process behind it. All right, guys, so 
the sun's going down i'm starting to lose a little bit of light here and it's getting a little bit chilly i'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the d2 on it it's pretty much all off the stone it's just a little bit of soap suds so we're gonna go ahead and squirt this thing with some d2 of course again i always like to make sure that i get plenty of it down in the lettering U.S. Navy, S2, Lewis G. Hooper, with the cross. Good little bit of amount on there. That'll dry overnight. It's not going to be getting below 40 degrees tonight. As always, I always like to, as the last, go ahead and put a flag on him. I use a half inch schedule 40 pipe uh, that I cut 15 inches long and then I put a little bit of green up here at the top just to try and camouflage it a little bit. But with this, the lettering, right, this is upside down to me reading it this way. It'd have to be on that side to read it. So with that facing the stone where you can read it on the left side and a flat stone, I always put it or try and put it up around the, the front. that right there here we go guys looking sharp all right guys so that's pretty much it the sun is setting over here uh, going down and we have run out of time um, thank you so much for your continued support uh, for watching the videos especially if you've watched them to the end like this one and you're seeing me right now um, you are a true North Centronian, and I really do appreciate it. Um, everything that you do helps the channel. Watching them all the way through, uh, subscribing, liking, going down uh, in the comments, or leaving a comment. Uh, all my videos are monetized, and a little bit of money that I do get from Google goes right back into doing stuff like this, buying supplies, gas, blah, 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 for me to be able to, to continue come up here and do this type of stuff um, i put a lot of my own money into this but every little bit helps from google and from donations and i really do appreciate that but it's time for me to grab my wagon and load it up into the back of the truck and uh guys i'll see you all in the next one hey guys i was just kind of driving past here and i happened to look down and i saw this i was looking at some of these other stones uh, there are veteran stones right here next to the road as I was driving past. And I saw this. And I saw the cross right here first. And this, this is an upright stone. Now, it's under the ground here a little bit. But it looks like it's broken off right here. And when I take my pointer here and I stick it down to the ground right here, I'm hitting something solid down here. And I think that the rest of it is still down here in the ground. Uh, I think we're going to have to dig this up, pull this thing up out of the ground, and uh, see if we can't piece it back together. See if it's uh, too far gone to piece it back together. If not, uh, we may have to uh, see about ordering a new stone for Percy G. Brake of West Virginia, Corporal 157 Depot. Brigadier March 26, 1926, and there might be more of it down underneath there. So I think that we can, uh, I think that maybe we can fix this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to uh, see you next time we're here. I'm losing my light. You guys have a good evening.